Hello everybody, I'm Charles Heimlich. Some of you know me as the actor Charles Heimlich and a lot of you know me as Dr. Protection from the Dr. Protection seminar series that I've done for many years. I'm also a martial arts professional with a karate school that is in the local area of Berlin, New Jersey. And today I wanted to just touch base on a couple of important issues that are very concerning to me, especially um, from where, from a standpoint of I'm a personal protection specialist, you know, we we have the updates going on in Israel. We realize what's happening over there right now, and and we know that there's a, a lot of uh, you know we're, we're in a dangerous time. We're, we're living in dangerous times. You know, we have a couple of wars going on all around the same time right now. So these are wars that are um, you know eventually going to be coming back home to us here in the United States. So I'm here today to talk to you about some of the updates going on over there in uh, in Israel. Uh, right now we have a death toll of over almost 4,000 people over there in Israel. Uh, 1,300 people um, are, are known to be uh, killed in the war at this time right now as, as such uh, over 1,000 people still missing. And um, the danger of this is that this can come back to get us here in the United States as well. So we want to, what I want to do is caution people because the war that's going on over there in Israel and, and you know what, all wars, all wars throughout history, no wars have been anything that, you know, is, uh, is any good comes out of them really. Um, some people say that, you know, it helps with the economy and things like that. But, you know, when you're talking about lives, people's lives, you know, that's what I'm here for. Because I, I talk about people's lives because that's what we do. We save lives. We help people. As a martial arts professional, we talk about saving lives, you know, because that's what matters to us, the, the people's lives. Those Palestinians are attacking children. They're attacking civilians, uh, women. You know, men, women, and children uh, that are civilians, not even part of what the war would be about. So uh, they're also threatening to um, do harm to these people uh, on camera, which is something, I don't, again, I don't want to get into really because we don't want to discuss those issues um, because they get very, very um, dramatic and serious, and uh, we don't want to talk about that right now. But these are issues that are serious and uh, concerning to us all and of course people's lives do matter we want to make sure we emphasize that so I, what i want to bring forth in our conversation today is that you know our safety all people's safety everywhere around the world uh, it's important to have uh personal protection and be aware and be alert if you're aware and alert of your surroundings you're automatically 98 percent safer Just by that alone and, uh, you know, I emphasize that a lot in my karate school as I teach karate. It's important for my students to understand that. And we want to emphasize that uh, personal protection is uh, something that we all need to, uh, to learn and to understand and to um, put into perspective into our lives. Um, you know, what you can do to be more safe is to be cautious, again, around your surroundings, where you're at, uh, the places you go and visit, you know, right now, obviously, it wouldn't be a good time to go visit uh, different countries and things like that with some of the things that are going on. Um, we know that there are hostages from the United States uh, as well in Israel right now. So we want to be uh, cautious about that. So as a personal protection specialist, I think it's important that we uh, talk about personal safety and, and how we can... Um, communicate that to each other and we can emphasize what we need to do to protect ourselves a little bit better uh, in any given situation. And again, awareness. Uh, I can't emphasize that enough. Awareness and alertness. You've got to be alert of the things going on around you, being aware of the things going on around you. Uh, we know that there may be some sleeper cells in the United States um, in different areas. Uh, the mosques are already being uh, threatened. So a couple of safety tips I think are important to, to keep in mind is to uh, make sure that you are uh, with someone uh, at all times. Um, if you're going somewhere, make sure you check that area out beforehand. Go to well-lit areas, uh, watch your parking, parking situations. 
parking, uh, making sure that you're parking under different lighting uh, situations so that if you come out and it is dark, that uh, you're in a well-lit area, making sure that you're with um, a few people. Um, if you happen to have to go out by yourself and going shopping or something and you have to go food shopping or something like that, you can always act like you're with someone as well. Um, and remember, your cell phone is your best friend, you know, and you can uh, utilize that as in, a lot of, in a lot of ways as a weapon. You know, we didn't have these problems when Trump was uh, in office. And I know many of you may not like Trump, you may not care about him, you may not like him at all, but you know what? We didn't have these issues. We didn't have these problems. You know, he kept these things at bay. He kept Russia at bay. He kept Israel and Palestine. He kept those uh, areas, you know, at bay and the wars that were threatening. Even China, you know, was under control at the time. You know, now they're actually threatening different wars. You know, we've got a lot of wars going on right now. There uh, there's a lot of different things going on. So we need... We need to get a man like President Trump back into office so that we can end this nonsense, this craziness, this murdering that's going on all over the world. So again, I'm Charles Heimlich, uh, Charles Heimlich from Heimlich's Karate. Stay tuned and look for my book, the 911 Safety Manual for Women. Um, it's a very good book and it's not just for women by the way, it's for anyone because uh, men and women and children can all use this book because it has very good simplified uh, self-defense techniques. Uh, so with that said, um, you guys have a great day. Thanks and peace out.